here we are in the sims 3 listen it's been like an hour since the last time i was here because my camera kept lagging and if it lags today you know what fuck it but babe i can't be stressed about it anymore i simply can't i've got my coffee and you know what i'm ready to have a good day but i have also just loaded up the game looked at twin broke and then remembered that i hated this town so do with that information what you will but i do actually have a very valid reason for hating it which we will get into but in its heyday twin broke was a small industrial town bitch mine too the fuck at the mouth of the simmerslaus creeks years later the dam was built and it changed everything for the town now with an influx of professionals artists and inventors living around the sim made lay twin broke is experiencing a rebirth <sighs> gentrification if i've ever seen it love how will life in this eclectic community turn out let's find out beach also people keep saying i look like i'm about to burst into tears and respectfully disagree babe i just have a resting crying face i'm a cancer oh here we go we are here i am ready for this we've got a little bit of lag but i'm not letting it get me down babe it has got a big lake like they weren't lying about that oh i loved it over here though because over here it was like shrek's little area oh and it gets all misty is there any household over here actually for some reason my sims is installed with a glitch and the glitch is there's just no households like every single town's empty why is this for why what did i do wrong please tell me i would like to learn from my mistakes in the future please tell me because i do <laughs> actually sims 3 sims were fucking potatoes yeah. don't want them hey babe i'm gonna make me because that's what i always do me me <laughs> Sorry, no, I, the quarantine has got to me a little bit, actually. I have been having a lot of fun with my food, and I'm not afraid to admit that, so I'll just increase the body weight. And I have started micro on as well, so you know what? I love them and all. Absolutely no muscle mass or muscle size. Oh, God, these are the hairs that we got with it. It's fucking frazzled. I do romanticise Sims 3 hairs. This would not fly now. Can you imagine if EA tried to release this now? I'd be like, honestly, take a back, love. Hate, hate, double hate loathe entirely and we also got the detective hats as well i do massively prefer the sims 4 where you can just literally put a hat on any hair and i'm gonna be ginger because that is the life i want to live right now and i'm too much of a fanny to commit to it so i'm doing what i do best and i am 100 living vicariously through my sims and just let me because you know what i had ginger hair in your range you know what they called me ginger jess was it fucking traumatic yes it was uh -huh. you know what i'm just not having a good time right now the sims 3 is my favorite game and i feel like it's my favorite game because i spend a lot of time away from her and then i jump into create sim although Hmm. The Sims 3 is 100% my favourite game when it's got custom content. Like, I, Alpha's my favourite type of custom content, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I know that's a really unpopular opinion. Like, people want to crucify me for saying that. But Alpha's the one for me, babe. I love Alpha hair. It's just that she doesn't fit into The Sims 4. Anyway, I'm going to be a little Victorian. Right, that's me as a not-so-Victorian. Is there a strong swimmer? Because I am, in fact, a strong swimmer, you know. Golden fingers. Honey, what you've done is illegal. Home design hotshot, that's it. Home is where the heart is in a well-designed room. Leaves an impression that lasts a lifetime. Brush up your painting skills, study the latest techniques for reupholster and furniture, and familiarise yourself with popular patterns and fabrics for drugs and floor tiles. Only through, excuse fuck out me, only through an obsessive attention to detail, good taste, and learn to listen to and respect your client's wishes will you simply be able to deliver the perfect home remodel or room addition. Right, there's me. Let's go on this journey. I'm moving to the swamp, babe. I am. The Shloop Nashka, babe. I 100% agree with you. Do I go nothing but deck or loft a lot? Watershed or swamp? Oh, swamp me. It's got to be swamp me. It's got to be. It's got to be. And I'll go furnished as well because I'm not designing my own home. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you make a meal for everybody and then at the end of it, you're not even hungry. Oh, you know what? I take it back, actually. I really did like Twin Brook and I love this swampy area and I love how overgrown it is. It reminds me of Princess Protection Program starring Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez, actually, because you've got to keep an eye for Selena. But the reason that I couldn't enjoy this this town for a long period of time especially in these houses over here for some reason and i'm not going to do it for too long in case it happens to you guys too but this oh my god no like it's happening already this makes me sick and not from like taste thing i'm not like the roads are fucking disgusting it makes me sick from like a this physically makes me seasick found a game that makes me feel seasick <laughs> what a skill i have anyway also the houses in this town are just built pretty weird because a lot of them have this middle section this one yeah this one's got it too it's got this middle section which you can't really make naturally in game so it makes these houses an arsehole to renovate little bitch i'll look at me just having a little rest i've su had such a hard day doing fuck all and this is what the new pack is inspired by the architectural design career your so envisions a bright future with one of the fine employers 
out of town. I just need to wait for the newspaper now. I'm not buying a PC. I've got 285 small news, babe. Sorry, you don't have the money for that. <gasps> there she is. Architectural design, thanking you. Now, I am going to say that this was an expansion pack. And with the expansion pack, you got stylist, investigator, firefighter. Was Ghost Hunter on it? Yeah, it must have been. You got you got a lot. And then we get a game pack with just one thing in. So I guess we're going to be finding out today if game packs are better. Because the thing is, with The Sims 3 Supernatural, a big bit of the argument there was like, we got multiple versions of the occult with Supernatural. And then in The Sims 4, we just get vampires. I find that vampires in The Sims 4 are the best that they've ever been in the more than just surface level. So I kind of prefer game packs that focus explicitly in on one thing. But I feel like it works for some things and it doesn't work for other things. For example, it worked with vampires. Did not work at all for Realm of Magic. Did not work at all for Parenthood either. That one definitely needs to be in a, in, in a pack. Apprehensive, interested, excited, and nervous all at the same time, babe. To find out whether Dream Designer Barbie Dream House pack is going to go down the Parenthood and Realm of Magic route or if it's going to go down the Vampires route. There's no jobs currently available. Well, I guess, I, you know what? I'm going to strut down the town. I really want to do a Sims 3 LP as well. So if there's any pack of the Sims 3 that you'd want me to play, please let me know. I, you know what? I really fancy a supernatural play through actually actually let's go to the bistro let's eat outside because we, we can't do that in the sims 4 so me 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 just stay at the restaurant i want to see if we can go to the town hall and like get a lesson in it oh, i can join the protest though very on brand very on brand <laughs> i am actually fucking terrified of clowns so <laughs> what's this outfit jessica car car oh do you like the school the school's Oh my god, sorry, I thought it was I thought it crashed. <laughs> I thought it crashed till I saw a car move, but no, I just hadn't clicked. <laughs> Fucking scary, my heart was going bit about a bit about like I could throw up. Oh god, I miss slide so much. Oh, Mrs. No, the Sims 3. My baby. I love her. She is the one for me. Oh my god. What is this little Ooh. I hate that. I'm very uncomfortable. Just go to bed, babe. Just sleep through it. Honestly, if we get murdered, we get murdered. Is there a door that I can potentially lock? I'll lock the bedroom door once we're in just to make myself feel a bit fucking safer. Everybody. No one's in, no one's out. This is it. This is it. Although we do have police in the Sims 3, so you know if anything did happen, then. Oh, I need one of these, don't I? Drafting table. Oh, shit. We can't search. I do love The Sims 3, but I do fucking hate build and buy. 150 quid. Well, I don't need that chair. Oh, perfect. Oh, my God. I locked the door, didn't I? Sorry, hen. Right, there you go. On your merry way. Oh, my God. This puts whole job experience off. Wow. I didn't know it did that. You know what I was thinking? as all the other day. You know how I say that I romanticise Sims 3, which I 100% do, and I'm quite happy about doing so, actually. The Sims 3 also had a lot of haters in its time. Like, a lot of people were constantly disappointed by The Sims 3 and like, why? When did we ask for this and stuff? And it'll be in interesting to see if if and when The Sims 5 comes out, because at this point, like, who fucking knows? But it'll be interesting to see whether people start romanticising The Sims 4 the same way we start romanticising The Sims 3. <gasps> oh, shit, I'm on the clock. Babe, we got to go. Job's available too. I'm on it, I'm on it. Bit. Oh, and they're right next door to each other. Both look Tory, but this one has a slightly less Tory door. Right, I need you to add doors and windows. Not a bit of bother, babe. Budget is too grand. I'm sure we have to talk to him. Right, actually, let me try. Let me try just putting the doors and windows in. Not babe. I'm fucking piece of fucking shit because i'm sure when i used to get it before all i used to get was like mediocre and i'm sure we have to ask them what they like and don't like and stuff like that right doors i mean i'm not being fucking funny and I, I do think that you might have enough but there we go just a little bit less tar before you're in it babe now this house screams fun it screams therapy as well man don't get me wrong listen if you're gonna go to a party right and the options are this house and this house i think your decision's made for you in it turn in renovation thank you my darling Oh, I'm very hungry. Thank God I've, I've got the cheats on. Oh, she likes it. Oh, oh, go on. I knew you were a party lass. See, she disliked me. Babe, your renovation's complete. Babe, where the fuck's she going? Literally, I shouldn't have to invite you out to your own fucking house. I'm at work. Right? Wait, don't fucking hire me when I'm on the job. All right, I'm going next door. Stereo baseball, shower treadmill, workout bench. Right, no bother. I can do that for you. I'll get on it now, hen. Oh my god, I forgot we got trampolines. I had to say that, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. The Sims 4 could never. Oh, we've still got two and a half, well, £3,000 remaining. So maybe I should upgrade it a little bit. Like, do they want me to spend the most expensive things? They are Tories, you know what I mean? They might like... Although Tories... I don't know. Listen, I don't know Tories, so I don't... 
I think I understand how the brain works because I can't rationalize austerity. So I'll never understand Tories. I'm sorry. Like just austerity has never been something I've ever been able to agree or empathize with. Like just austerity is a bad thing objectively in my mind. Thank you for hearing my arguments, Your Honor. <laughs> that is a awful swatch. Awful. Turning renovation. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, I have to take a photo now. I think it did a good job. It all turned out fine. It's not too amazing, but I can't complain too much. But this last just does not want to pay me for the job, which is getting really fucking frustrating straighten actually read rudely you bitch continue sketch there we go i'm pulling all nighter to try and get my sim as far into the career as she possibly can <laughs> sorry what the fuck Oh my god, we didn't move there. How random. You know, no, that's just gonna make me cry, actually. It might potentially bring me to tears because I think, honestly, The Sims 3 is my game and I love her so much. You know, some people have soulmates in places, some people have soulmates in people. My soulmate's in The Sims 3. Oh, that could be awesome, potentially. Oh my god, it's that house! <laughs> I think you may need more than a powder room, babe. I think you need a fucking cleansing. I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to make it my proper nice place because I think you need that, don't you, when you're getting haunted. Oh, God, remember being able to cover foundations with anything that you wanted. This is my favourite game. I feel a lot more to this game, and they are all positive, in fact. Apart from the winter and door placements. Oh, my God, The Sims 4 spoiled me. The Sims 4 build modes where it's at right, 100%, and I will defend that fact till the day I die. Everything else The Sims 3 takes the cake for. She is beauty. She is grace. They said shower or tub, but I think... I think I am going to be a little know-it-all and do both for him. There you go, babe. There you go. Turn and renovation. I think I've done him well, you know. Would I have done him well if I didn't know he was getting haunted by ghosts? Don't think so. Where are you, hen? See, the thing is what annoys me. Like, literally, I love this career. It's just not streamlined. Do you know what I mean? <gasps> See what I mean? Overall, I think you did a terrible job. You need to start spending more time at home at the drafting table and more time paying attention to the details of your work before you ruin someone else's home. This isn't twit and twat, is it? They need more windows, apparently. Oh my god, this one isn't even classed as complete. What am I supposed to be getting a photo of here? Like, there's literally nothing. I'll get one of the... Oh, now the lights have turned off. D there's fucking more ghosts. <laughs> I can't go. That's not the next door neighbour, is it? Um, that's the next door neighbour that we've got to do the fucking doors and windows of. You couldn't make it up, babe. I think you did a good job. See, the thing is, it's almost as if if you try less, you get rewarded more. So, like, don't put any personality into it. They'll absolutely hate it and accuse you of ruining the entire home, apparently. Which makes me excited for the Sims 4 version of it. I think the usability will be better. But I do still love the Sims 3 version of it, though. Not, not going to lie, the firefighter is my favourite career, though. I never really enjoyed daycare that much. I did enjoy it, but it got very overwhelming for me. But you know that I can only control one sim at one time. Never mind, five toddlers. What level are we? Oh, we're level three. We're not doing too bad. I think if you talk to them and find out what they like and stuff. But obviously, because it's not that streamlined, like we needed to do a job for him yesterday and then he ended up fighting ghosts. Do you know what I mean? See, he doesn't even like me. I literally only wanted to get to know you, babe. Right, you know what? See what I mean? Like, I'm. it is kind of hard, actually. It kind of just teaches you to just not try at all. Right, there's four doors. Well, more than four doors, actually. I'll probably take one of them away. Hee hee. Right, I've ruined the house. Let's see how they feel about it, because they'll probably end up fucking liking it. <laughs> There's literally no point trying. Oh my God. Oh, I feel like we've just discovered some kind of illegal base. I've been promoted once more. Word is getting around about your exquisite taste and the local press has taken notice upon your recent work. The public eyes upon you. Get out there and prove you're the best designer around. We got a tape measure. It's 2.34 a.m. I, I don't know why I've been sat there with that in his house. <laughs> I think I just wanted the comfort of another same. I don't know. I do not have a tape measure, actually. Some bastard's lying. Priscilla Style wants a new baby room. So... Can I go there, begin renovation? Oh my God, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Whose child is this? See, where is she? I'm starting another one because I think I might have fucked that one up. <laughs> the fact that that's no longer the front door and the choose and use this one that I put in. Take measurements. Right, I've done that. We're making a book nook. I think I am actually starting to understand how to play this a little bit more. Right, so that's that one all done. I measured up. Please at least give me a good, good job. <laughs> Take a photo of some tits. And where's the baby gone? Listen, I am kind of fucking worried. Do you know what I mean? Listen, I, I, I just can't. 
I can't sell nor that the baby is here by itself all day, right? Come on, baby, go with me. I have stole a baby and I think that is everything that I have for you today. I, I did really enjoy it. This was really hard to actually work with and I kind of know what I'm doing, but also it's really hard to know what you're doing in a nutshell. Like I am very confused by the entire thing, honestly. I am struggling a bit actually, but this is making me really excited for the new game pack. And I know some people don't like it and some people don't class renovating houses as gameplay. For me personally, I do because you kind of given a direction do you know what I mean for me it's gameplay but if it's not gameplay for you then it's not gameplay for you and that's that and that's it but I'm excited and that's everything I've been today let me know video ideas down below because I'm trying to daily upload so I can get used to recording again I love you all I'm not daily uploading forever though because literally I'm not doing that to my mental health love you all and I'll see you in the next one bye bitch